Those guys, before we even started practice, and, you know, for those guys, this this is crunch time. This is entering into their year three. So um, they've played sparingly for us um, at the cornerback position, but I really want those guys to try to find a role and, um, and be it, you know, get on a rotation as a primary corner or, you know, get on into a rotation as a sub package, as a nickel, as a dime. But they've got to own a spot somewhere, you know, so we're trying to push those guys to do that. And they're capable of doing it. Now they just got to go prove it, you know, through preparation and practice. Have you seen that sense of urgency out of them? I have seen a more sense of urgency. I've seen a more professional uh, approach to how they practice and how they how they come to meetings, um, which is what you expect. I mean, the same for Isla Hardy. Mm -hmm. Isla Hardy in year three now, he's he's a night and day difference from, from what he was, you know, even last year. You know, so I think those guys, you know, it just takes time for some guys to mature and grow up. But you know, definitely they're moving in that direction. Isla getting physically right too. That two almost a year and a half removed from that surgery. Physically right. Uh, you know, his his, his, his whole game. You know, I think that you can tell that. He's working with the soft season. He's cleaned up a lot of things in a lot of areas that he needs to. And he's putting himself in position right now through what he's done this off season and through what he's done the first two practices to, you know, be a viable option. I know nothing, you know, in spring there's nothing set in stone in the secondary, but you know, so many new safeties and then Farley returns. Is it, do you start off looking for a guy next to Farley and then if two guys can push, then Farley's also competing for a job as well? Or do you do that to kind of an open? In other words, are more guys in the opposite safety position when you're kind of looking at them? Yeah, I, I think the way that we approach it, we know that we've got, you know, a safety that's played 13 games for us. You know, and we, we have a safety that hasn't played any games for us. So our focus right now is the, who's going to be that that next guy. You know, who's going to be the guy that's going to be opposite with us, and maybe who's going to be the guys. You know, it could be multiple guys. You know, so um, so we're trying to just secure that spot and get get those guys comfortable in that spot right now. I think Matthias has demonstrated that you know he can play at a high level. He can win for us. You know, we won 12 games with him last year, so um, he's kind of the leader back there and kind of getting those guys, helping those guys get lined up. He's doing what Zeke did for him last year for those guys right now. Exactly. Exactly. So it's just passing the torch. With Shumay, uh, it's you know, people say move to safety. It's kind of move back. That's more natural to say right. guy, of course. Right. Was it something that I was extremely excited about him going back there? Or was he just kind of up for any challenge to give him? No. He, he moved the corner because of the injury to load and because we had no depth. You know? So that, that was the primary move for that during the season. Um, now we want him to get back to really what we recruited him to be. Um, and so now that he's at that spot, you know, we anticipate him growing at that spot and getting better. That's a natural fit for him. So, um, you know, not, not get that anything's given to him. There's a lot of guys at that spot. Turner's at that spot. Hardest, Hardy's at that spot. Um, so there's some competition at that spot. But it's a natural fit for Shumate to be there.